what I'm looking at now is I've loaded up this product. So this is a DeLonghi toaster and I use this product as pretty much everything because I always look at this product all the time. I think maybe I sold it once, but it's just my default whenever I search. So when we come down, here we have the Keeper chart. And this is when you load up any Amazon product, if you've got Keeper installed, this chart will show. So what I'm just going to do is to make it easier for you is I'm going to load this chart up in the Keeper website on itself because it just makes it a bit bigger and you can see what I'm doing. So this chart is here and I'm just going to check on Facebook to see that you can see it as well. Well, not yet. I'm still a bit delayed. So the concept very much comes here is that on the chart itself, it's got so much information to look at. Now, the three things which I want to talk about, which are probably just the basics, the real early starts, the first things to look at are, first of all, what I want you to show you is these things. So we have Amazon price or this Amazon icon here, the new price and the sales rank. They're the three basics that you really need to understand with your Keeper chart. And that's the, the most important part. So what I'll do is I'll just go through them to start off with. So first of all, if we have it here, Oh, one second. So if here we have the keeper, and what I'm doing is I'm looking at my video on my phone here so I can see that we're the same place. So here we have Amazon. Now, if I turn off everything, and you can turn these off and as you go, we have Amazon. Now, this chart here just shows you Amazon price, and you can go along, and you can see here it shows you Amazon is $64.99, and it's on Sunday the 14th of October at 3.22 that that information was gathered. And you can just go along this graph, and you can see it goes up, and then it goes down, and then it goes up and down. So it gives you a really good historical idea of what's gone on with the Amazon price over time. And you can view, for example, it's gone up and down. Um, and you can view this over the last year, which is that current setting. You can change it to the week, you know, three months, the year, or all time. So for the whole time Keeper's got data, you can get that information. So let's just put it back to year. So you can see here it started about a year ago in October, you know, 65 pounds. It's gone up to 69. It's come down, down to about 58, and then 65, 69, and back down again. One thing you might notice is here we've got this little gap. Now, this gap is quite interesting in the fact that what Keeper's showing us is that for the whole of this time, and I will have to come back, this time I'm kind of highlighting here, Amazon is on the listing, i.e. Amazon is a seller on this listing. But for this little gap here, where the orange line has disappeared, means Amazon's now come off the listing, i.e. if you were to look through the sellers, you would no longer find Amazon on the listing during that period. And then after that, we can see that Amazon has now come back on the listing, and they are here. So if I just go back to the year, and if I kind of explain what that means if you're not too sure, if you go to the Amazon listing itself, and you click on all new sellers, I come off that, all new sellers, and wait for this to load. What you will see is that Amazon are on the listing. Amazon are one of these sellers here. So this is basically saying throughout the whole of this time, Amazon on the listing, whereas this little gap here, these guys, Amazon, disappeared. So that's a really useful one, super useful to know. That's the Amazon price. So I'm just going to turn that off, and now we'll look at the new price. So again, this is very similar to the Amazon price. It's just a representation at different times. So we can see here at uh, Friday, the 12th of October, 7.46 in the evening. This was six pound or 64.99. And we've literally gone along. So this is the new price. And by new price, this is the lowest new price. Doesn't mean this is the price it sells for. This is just the lowest new price that's on. And if I kind of explain what that means, it means what is this price here out of all these sellers who is the lowest price and this guy here is the lowest price 48.49 and if we go to our thing we should see kind of down here 48.49 that is this guy's price on Sunday the 29th of September at 9.26 this morning so we can see that that works it's been collected and that data has been feed back, fed back to us so the new price is really good to see because it just gives you a feel for you know, the sellers and what, what price they're at. But the one thing I just be aware of is always be aware that the new price doesn't mean it sells for that price. And we'll talk about that later. And then the final thing, which I'd really just talk about as the basics, is what's known as sales rank. So sales rank is a, a number. So if we come to this product here, and I'm gonna go back to the actual uh, product itself and just show you where this is, if you're interested. So right here we have Amazon bestseller rank. Now right here we've got, this is bestseller rank 3,202. 
So this product right here is rank 3202 in the home and kitchen category. Now there might be, or there are a number of categories. So you have like home and, home and kitchen, toys and games, etc., etc. There are lots. Now some of the bigger categories like toys and games, home and kitchen, beauty, they are going to be probably in the region of, you know, I'm just going to put out there, roughly maybe up to a million products, um, you know, a couple of hundred thousand. But some of the categories might be a lot smaller. And I think watches, for example, might be only a couple of thousand. They're not going to be as big a categories. So the one thing which is quite interesting to look at is this category information here, or this sales rank, this sales rank number, gives you an, gives you an indication of what is that bestseller rank, i.e. what is this number here, over time. So you can really just get a feel, over the last year this product has been consistently down here, down here, down here, all of a sudden it popped up for some reason and then it went down again, down again, down again. And then it's come up again, up a bit more and then down. And the, uh, and the reason why that's important to know for us is to say that if you think about the way Amazon sales rank works is that if, say for example, if it's toys and games, sales rank, if it's sales rank number one means it's the best selling product in toys and games. But if it's sales rank, you know, like one million, for example, well, it means it's the millionth best selling product. Now, a lot of sourcing, a lot of people talk about is I always go for, she say, below 100,000 sales rank, which is quite normal. So what you're looking for is the closer to the one it is, the more it's going to sell it means it's good. But what you're also you're looking at is that change in sales rank. So certain products, like if it's seasonal, say for example, advent calendars, they will just not sell as well during summer as they would obviously in Christmas. So for you is to kind of look at the sales rank and you can infer where it is in that sales process. So is it the number one bestseller? And if it is the number one bestseller, it's gonna sell like hotcakes. And if it's really high up, or if it's changed, then you can kind of get a feeling to say that actually it's not selling so well. But I'll go into a little bit more detail about sales rank in a bit, but I just wanted to talk you through that. So give me two seconds, I'm just going to check my notes and obviously make sure that I'm getting the right information to you. So what I've talked through now is just a bit about sales rank, new price and Amazon. So this is some information which we've got, which, uh, which is the basics to really looking at keeper graphs and all you're doing is looking at those three data points over time and just getting a feel for how they work over time. I hope you found this really useful, really informative. Um, please, 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 if you like it, give me a big like. I love like, or give me a love heart, honestly, love love hearts. Um, and also drop some comments, drop comments down below. Even if you just liked it, hey Tom, love this, thank you so much. Um, or if you've got questions, please let me know, drop them down the bottom. So for me, Thomas Parkinson, Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.